I don't really. F- I'm not sure if it does anything. I think the only reason, the only thing that y- you get, is 100% completion. Um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. And I love how it's telling us how to dodge, um, when we're in our fourth level. So, yeah, you're kind of late, mate. <laughs> All right. So this this level introduce introduces us to a little, uh, a little new mechanic, I guess, where. You have a bunch of searchlights around here, and if they see you, they're going to activate a bunch of laser traps. Which actually benefits you in certain situations when there's so many enemies. Because the lasers will just... They can just, like, kill all the robots around you. And also, this is the best in instance where the AI are a complete idiot. Because they don't care that the the searchlights are trying to find you they will just they will always walk, walk to where you are and that doesn't it doesn't they don't care that there's a searchlight around so they can just they just randomly walk into the searchlights and you'll and they'll activate the lasers for you Which, yeah like that he just ran to that to that enemy there and activate this activated the searchlight but this actually benefits me because it killed those enemies there, so we don't have to deal with those anymore. I could have easily de dealt with them myself, but oh well. Thankfully, it's really easy to avoid die or getting hit by the lasers. Just go to a one of those platforms there, and you'll be fine. But yeah, this is um, what, I'm sa what I said earlier, like, the, because this game is not based on the movie anymore, they they had the chance to just be uh, be as creative as they could, could be, for this game being based all underground, because like, well it's a little bit like a, a Splatoon single player, because like, that game is all based underground, I believe, and then the levels feel like they're outside. Um, it still feels like you're underground, but in this in this game anyway. But we're in a, we were in a sludge station in the last one, and now we're in a ice station, for lack of a better word. So it's not anything. Again, it's not the most imaginative imaginative stuff in the world, but it's a huge step up from what the first game had. So it just keeps things a little bit more interesting. Please die. Seriously. And that was a fail. I don't want to skip out on killing any uh, any enemies that are like, near the areas or stuff like that. Because, you know, experience is tasty. <laughs> I don't know. And there we go. And I guess you're... The, uh, what tells you you should do that is that there's stuff below, so. Yeah. Boom, down him. Yeah. I, uh, that's a pretty old old joke, but basically, um, one one time when me and uh, Sahil, or Paper Lunarian LP, um, played through, well, I was watching him play A Rise of the Underminer, and the when we when um Mr. Incredible gets hit, for it it sounded like he was saying pain Callum to to both of us. So it, that's just kind of a joke we've had going for a a good few a good few years now, like the early days of C's brain actually. So. Alright, so it's a little bit... <laughs> okay. And Mr. Incredible got, got owned. Alright. Alright, so... Yeah, you have a little timer until they... Pop back up, so... Yeah, if I die before that timer goes down, I'm... Gonna be going back to a checkpoint. I'm pretty sure they're pretty, um... They're usually quite generous. Gener... Gener... Generous when it comes to checkpoints, if I remember correctly. So, you're not going to be going like all, all the way back to the start of a level or something. 
Um, it kind of it's kind of weird that the uh, this game doesn't have a checkpoint thing like the first game does, because that's one thing that I do prefer in the first game, and I failed that. Come on. Okay, there we go. Because I I felt like I could do that before they the missiles arrived. All right, come on, just die. you and freeze you yeah the AI just kind of uh, they, they just kind of do weak attacks like they just do this eh. Eh. <laughs> so they're not gonna be killing any enemies anytime soon all right it would be pretty cool if you could do this to just go over there but uh, if you try doing an ice glide over a pit, you're just gonna fall instantly. So, yeah, just don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it, I tell you. Okay. So I'll get rid of you. Okay, that really makes quick work, work of these guys. Ow! And now back to you. Ah, come on. I really need to upgrade uh, Frozone's Ice Punch because it's kind of feeling a little weak right now. Yeah. Well, he's not the power character, so I guess it would make sense, but still. Okay, but anyways, this is actually pretty close to the end now. We just have to do these little, these little areas, and, well, break open that door, but first, I think we can destroy those little cannons, I think, I hope so, yeah, we can, because that, that would make it really irritating, really irritating if we couldn't, and I'm just gonna just do this, screw it, I couldn't be asked. alright, Take care of you, and also, oh wait, I wonder if I can just do it, I wonder if I can uh, throw a slime ice balls at it, oh come on, don't get in, don't get in the way, ow, okay I'm just going to throw you, that'll make things interesting, yeah you can actually do that, okay, <laughs> I don't know why I expect, I, why I didn't, didn't expect that to work, but hey, yeah, just keep doing this. There we go. And those guys can be kind of annoying because like, if you just run up to them, they're just going to hit you with their little uh, drill thing. So. Alright. Wow. I'm not impressed. Why'd you go wow like that then? Yeah, uh, well. It actually looks pretty decent looking. And now it's like, you can't have a beat em up game without an elevator section. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Just take care of all these guys. And all the pain cannons are gonna be felt. Okay. I, I don't really wanna waste it here because it's just these three, or oh, four of these weak drill dudes. I kind of I want to show off Frozone Super Move, which I haven't I haven't done that yet. But I don't really want to waste it on like weak enemies, you know. So yeah. all right. Okay, I think we're coming close to the top of this. I'll just keep gliding into them. It's a pretty cool move. I, it is pretty cool that you can play as Frozen because you, you couldn't. You only had the, uh, you could only play as the um, Incredible fa Incredibles family in the in the first game. You could never play as him, uh, Frozen. Like he was with you in the building level, but that was about it. 
Alright. Take care of you. I don't like you here. You're west of my space. And you're dead. Alright. Yeah, the end is right over there. Over there. Alright. Okay. Oh gosh. There's a bunch of people over there. I'm probably gonna use. Okay. I'm gonna show off the super move of those enemies. I think that. Yeah, I think it'll work. Decent amount, I guess. Okay. So yeah, this is the fro Frozen super move. I don't think it's as effective because it's a little bit more random and in like where the attacks are gonna land. But I think it looks a little bit more cool. I also like how it kind of affect like affects the uh, screen a little bit. Like with Mr. Incredible, you see like little cracks and stuff like that. I just like little details like that. Okay. Now, I'll upgrade this, I suppose, and I'm gonna upgrade your ice punch because, gosh dang, it needs upgrading. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Welcome to the Magnemizer, the ultimate doomsday machine. It will be the only thing left standing in a few moments. Calculating every magnetic energy force on the Earth, I will now refocus all those forces to reverse the poles and flip the whole planet. It will destroy everything topside. The skies will be filled with dirt, and the sun will become a distant memory. It will turn your world upside down. You're upside down! Well done. We're shutting it down. Shut this down. The power to this impressive machine is secure underground in an underwater cave. For tours of the underwater power and pressure station, you will need to survive me and then make an appointment with a power pressure guardian, Doug. The magnetizer is ready to go full power and you can't do anything to stop it. Shutting it off is no longer an option. We're not going to shut it off. We're gonna destroy it! We're gonna tear this thing apart! Destroy the magnetizer itself? I didn't think of that. Well, maybe I can convince you to run for your lives instead!